This is what the scapula planning page will look like. I already have a plan created for this case, which is why you can see the implant now. Normally, an implant choice will need to be made and, once selected, will be placed in a neutral position along Friedman's axis. The Equinox planning app does not automatically select the implant position. On the left-hand side of the window, you'll see implant selection options. These options change based off of anatomic or reverse planning, as well as selecting the small base plate or anterior planning buttons. The top left corner of the screen features the toggle button, which allows you to switch between reverse and anatomic planning. The right side of the screen contains the implant position buttons. Each click is equal to a degree or millimeter of change to the implant position. In this same section, there is a backside contact measure. Light green indicates contact requiring less than 0.5 millimeters of reaming. Dark green indicates contact that would require more than 2 millimeters of reaming off the native glenoid based on current planning. At the bottom of the screen, you can find the glenoid native measurements, which are selected by Exact Tech segmentation team. If you would like to see how these measurement points were determined, select the pencil button. You can then click and drag the positional markers and save them if you would like to on the following page. Beside the native measurements, there is a length and angular measurement tool. To the right, there are glenoid quick position buttons to adjust the model displayed in the center of the screen. Towards the top of the screen, there are other buttons that can show or hide implant components. Using the V key shows pre-selected detail views which are useful for visualizing implant placement in reference to the patient's existing anatomy. Similar to the scapula planning section, the humerus planning page has implant selections for items such as the stem, plate, and liner on the left-hand side of the screen. When planning for an anatomic, the stemless implant option only appears when the stemless tab is selected, changing the sizing options to align with stemless offerings. The right side of the screen allows for a change in the resection level, version of the stem, replicator plate and head offset, as well as positional changes for the stem within the humeral canal. Selecting either the replicator plate adjustment or head offset adjustment from the right will change your view of the humerus. The replicator plate position and head offset can be fine-tuned from this view. A CT slice view will always be displayed regardless of anatomic or reverse planning. This view offers a frontal or sagittal profile depending on the setting selected. The lower portion of this page offers the same measurement and angularity tools as the scapula planning page. Additionally, there are humeral positioning buttons to quickly orientate the 3D humerus. Toward the top, there are still numerous show or hide buttons to assist with planning. The joint impingement page opens up to a patient natural abduction screen. The patient's natural abduction is affected by BMI and care should be taken to reflect this appropriately. Once patient natural abduction is selected, the page opens up to show how the current planning affects range of motion. Osteophytes will typically decrease the preoperative simulated range of motion. Options to make implant changes will persist on the left side of the screen for both reverse and anatomic planning options. Once adjusted, these changes may increase or decrease range of motion. Range of motion is displayed on the right side of the screen with green indicating unobstructed motion and red indicating obstructed motion. The red arrow buttons quickly move the humerus into impingement points for reference to see when and how impingement is occurring. The slider on the bottom right side of the screen can be used to sweep the humerus along the outside of the glenoid or glenosphere to check positioning. Lateralization and lengthening, compared to preoperative patient anatomy, are shown below. Clicking the ellipses, or three dots, will show a simultaneous preoperative and postoperative view of the patient. The anatomic section of this page has a toggle for alpha and beta glenoids allowing for further preoperative planning to be done.